Hello and welcome to Wink. In today's video, I will be showing you how to properly set up your Datamax label printer. We will cover the following items. Setting the printer's tensioner and media sensors. Installing the ribbon and labels. Connecting the printer via USB cable. How to calibrate the printer, as well as installing the Datamax driver. And then finally, how to configure the printer settings and label sizes in Wink. Let's begin. First, print this document. Cut along the dotted lines and stick it on the printer itself or on the wall directly above it. If you have multiple printers, then print the document multiple times. Pause the video and go ahead and try it. Next, You'll want to ensure the printer's tensioner is set to half. It was likely set to half by default. Start by opening the printer. To open, release the latch on either side until you hear a click, and then simply lift up. Now, lower the printhead mechanism by pushing down on the little green latch on the right-hand side, and ensure that the green tensioner wheel is set to half. You can find the green tensioner wheel on the left-hand side of the print head mechanism. Next, you'll need to set the printer's media sensors. Slide the bottom media sensor to minus 10. By default, it is set to zero. You will need to insert a paper clip in the hole like this, push down on the lever inside, and slide the sensor to the left until it reaches minus 10, which is to the left of the zero. This step can be a bit tricky, so just be patient and you'll get it. Now repeat this step for the sensor on the printhead mechanism. Now my colleague Jack is going to demonstrate how to install the labels and ribbon, how to connect the printer to your computer via USB cable, and then how to calibrate the printer. Now I'm going to show you how to load the frame labels. We take our roll of frame labels, we place it in, to, in between the two green support holders, and then after that we just push forward our frame labels. We have them protruding about five millimeters, and then we secure the two little green support holders against the paper. Now I'm going to show you how to hold the ribbon. There's two sides to the ribbon, the matte side and the shiny side. You want to place the matte side facing you. So the way to load the ribbon, we take the ribbon in our hand, we push against the, the spring on the right outwards, it creates a bit of slack. And then after that we align the ribbon towards the gear in the middle. As you can see now, the ribbon is secure. Then you want to take the take-up cord. You're going to place it and evenly align it on the ribbon. I have two pieces of scotch tape already ready. I'm going to place it on the take-up cord and on the ribbon. So now I have loaded my take-up cord. What I'm going to do is I'm going to release the lever for the print head mechanism. I'm going to pull outwards to get a little bit of slack. I'm going to take my take-up cord and I'm going to I'm going to do the same thing I did on the bottom. I'm going to push on the spring outwards so I can create a little bit of slack. I'm going to align my take-up cord with the green gear on the left. At this point, I'm gonna press on the green gear just to remove any slack on the ribbon. And as you can see, our ribbon is loaded. We have to take into consideration that the ribbon itself is perfectly aligned on the take-up cord. It should not be exceeding too much to the left and too much to the right. This is the correct way to load your ribbon. If you've loaded your ribbon like this, this is not a good sign. It will not work you need to correct this immediately. Now, if your ribbon is too far to the left, 
or too far to the right, that's not good either. Now, if your ribbon is too far to the left or too far to the right, your printer is not going to be able to print your frame labels clearly and you're going to have trouble calibrating your printer. This is a picture of how a correct frame label should look like. And this is what it should not look like. Now we're going to close the print hand mechanism. What we want to do is we just want to press upwards and that locks into place. Then we're going to close the cover of the printer ensuring that 5 millimeters of the frame label is sticking out of the printer. This is what your USB printer cable looks like. The square side of the printer cable goes into the back of the Dynamax printer. And the rectangular side of the cable goes into your computer. It should be plugged into a USB 2 port. A USB 2 port is a black port on your computer. It is not recommended to be plugged into a USB 3 port, which is a blue port on your computer. When cutting labels from the printer, always pull up, never down. If you pull down, you risk decalibrating the printer. Now I'm going to show you how to calibrate your printer. We're going to turn the printer on. If this is your first time turning on the printer, give it a minute to start up completely. When you turn it on, it's red. Please give it a minute and then it will turn green. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to properly calibrate the printer. You put your finger on the play button, press and hold the button until the light flashes green. Once the light flashes green, release your finger from the play button. A handful of tickets are going to print from the Datamax printer. Now your light turns to a solid green and your printer is properly calibrated. To test if your printer is properly calibrated, press and release the play button three times. If properly calibrated, each time you do so, one entire label will be ejected from the printer. Not half a label, or 1.5 labels, but rather exactly one label. Now that we've set up the hardware, let's move on to the software. We're going to start by uninstalling the Wink printer driver. First, ensure the printer is plugged in and turned on. Next, launch Wink and log into your account. Then, click on Settings, Datamax Printer, and then Uninstall Wink printer driver. This may also say Uninstall Wink Datamax driver. Follow your on-screen prompts and click yes to all three pop-ups. Then exit Wink software. If you get a pop-up saying that you don't have sufficient administrative privileges to execute this action, then close Wink, right-click on the Wink icon on your desktop and select Run as Administrator. Then log into Wink and try again. Next, we're going to install the Datamax printer driver, but before we do so, check to see if the printer driver is already installed. Depending on your system, the driver may have auto-installed upon plugging it in. Allow 5 minutes before proceeding. To verify if the Datamax printer driver is installed, click on Start and type in Devices and Printers. Do you see this icon? If yes, your printer driver has been installed and you can skip ahead to step 5.9 from the document that we've sent to you. If no, the driver is not installed and you must continue to the next step. Click on the link provided in the document, which will take you directly to the website for the Datamax driver, then click on the blue button that says Download. This will download the driver to your computer. You can also click the link directly from this video.
Next, accept the terms in the license agreement. Click on Next, then Next again, and click Finished. You'll want to click Yes on any Windows prompts to allow the program to make changes to your computer. On the Seagull Driver Wizard screen, ensure the Install Printer Drivers is checked and click on Next. Ensure USB is checked and click on Next. This might also say Install a Driver for a Plug and Play Printer. In the next window, you may choose to set the printer as the default printer by checking this box. Ensure the Do Not Share This Printer option is circled and click on Next. Then click on Finish. Be sure to allow any other Windows prompts asking for permission to install or making changes. Next, you'll want to test if your driver is properly installed. Click on the Start menu, then start typing Devices and Printers. Right-click the Datamax printer icon. Click on Printer Properties. Click on Tools, click on Action, and then click on Form Feed. This should feed out exactly one label. If it did, your driver has been properly installed, and you can now close the driver window. Moving along, the next step is to configure the printer settings and page sizes. Click on your Start menu and type Devices and Printers and select it. Right-click the Datamax O'Neill icon and select Printer Properties. Click on the General tab, then click on Preferences and a new window will appear. Click on the Page Setup tab, click on New, then in the Name field type Wink Frame Label. Then in the Label Size section, in the Width type 2.50 inches. Then in height, enter 1.25 inches. The exposed liner width should be 0.05 both on the left and the right. Once you've done that, click on OK. Make sure that the orientation is set to portrait and then click on apply. Next, we'll set up the label size for our mailing labels. Click on new and in the name field, type wink mailing label. Click on label size and set the width to three inches and the height to 1 inch. Set the exposed liner width to 0.05 inches on both the left and the right side and then click on OK. Set the orientation to portrait and click on apply. And finally, we'll set up the label sizes for our exam labels. Click on new and in the name field type wink exam label. Click on the label size and set the width to 4 inches and the height to 1.5 inches. Set the exposed liner width to 0.05 inches on both the left and the right side and then click on OK. Make sure that the orientation is set to portrait and click on apply. Next, click on the options tab. Check the box send with job and set to 18 by moving the slider to the right. Now click on apply. The higher the setting, the darker the printing will be, but be careful not to go too high as it might melt the label, resulting in squiggly printed lines instead of straight ones as required for barcodes. A heat setting between 15 and 20 seems to accommodate most users. Next, click on Page Setup, then Advanced Options. Set both the horizontal and the vertical offset to 0.05 inches. Click on Apply and then OK, and you can now close the window. Now, click on the Advanced tab, then click on Printing Defaults, and a new window will appear. Click on the Page Setup tab, and in the Stock section, from the drop-down list, simply select the Wink frame label that you already created, and set the orientation to Portrait, and then click on Apply. Do so for all three types of labels. Now, click on the Options tab and set the printhead temperature to 18 as we did before, then click on Apply. Finally, click on the Page Setup tab, then Advanced Options, and set both the horizontal and the vertical offset to 0.05 inches. 
click on apply and then OK and you can now close the page. You're probably wondering why we did this twice. Don't ask us why, all we know is that it needs to be done twice, just trust us on it. The next step is to configure the settings in Wink. First, launch Wink and log in. In the menu bar at the top of the screen, click on Settings, then Printers and Trays. In the Printer column, make sure to select the new Datamax driver for any label type that you might be printing from this computer. Click on Save, then OK, and close the page. Now we'll set our frame label format. Go back to the top, click on Settings, and then click on Frame Label Format. We recommend the following printout format. Brand, Model, Color and Size, Price, and then Serial Number. Then click on Save and OK. We recommend this format because if the brand and the model are not on separate lines, some of your frames with very long names may get cut off. Your Datamax printer should now be set up and you can test it by printing out a label. From the main Wink page, click on Reprint Barcodes. If you have frames in your inventory, type the serial number in the text prompt and hit enter on your keyboard. Then click on Print. Please note that the first label printed from every computer, every day, may take 10 seconds to feed out. This is completely normal. All subsequent labels will print out 1-2 to two seconds after you click on Print. If you don't have frames in your Wink inventory, but you do have frames in your Wink database, click on If Not Positive About Barcode Number, click here. Then. Type the model number of your frame in the text prompt and hit enter. Click on, click here to see products not in your inventory, and then double click on a frame and click on print. If you don't have any frames in your Wink database yet, then you must first create a frame before you can print a barcode for it. Click here for how to create frames in your Wink database and how to add them to your Wink inventory. Scroll to about the 1155 mark. We recommend you create a first frame called Wink Frame and then put all the data the video says to enter. Please note, since publishing that video, some of our process has changed, but it is still rather easy to complete. Once you have your frame created, come back and follow the instructions to print a barcode. And there you have it. You have now successfully configured your Datamax label printer via USB cable and are ready to start printing. Should you decide you would rather have the printer configured on your network so as to permit printing from any computer in the practice, please contact Datamax Technical Support and ask them to walk you through the process of installing their driver and configuring their printer on your network. Tell them the following. You are a Wink customer, and you are able to print labels in USB mode. If it works in USB, it should work in network. Make sure that they understand that. Next, you want to install their printer on your network via TCP-IP. Next, how many Datamax printers you have to install? If more than one, then they will each require a distinct name. Example, Datamax 1 or Datamax 2. Next, you want to print labels via your Datamax from many computers in your practice. This is very important. Please repeat it often. And lastly, you want them to help you install the printer on at least two computers. This now concludes the video on how to connect your Datamax label printer. On behalf of Wink, we thank you for watching and hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to check out our other awesome training videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.